had a had an MRI uh, after the Detroit game on Monday, and uh, it showed I had a lateral meniscus tear. So um, our goal um, was to give it about five to seven days um, to see how I would react and to see if I could play on it for the rest of the season. Um, I knew I was going to get surgery at some point, whether it was now or after the season. And so um, me and the trainers, trainers and the medical staff did uh, a lot of rehab um, pretty much all day um, on the plane, during games, and uh, you know in the morning and night. So uh, we, we did everything we could. Um, Today was this, was uh, the one week mark, and so this morning I got on the court to see how it would feel, um, and that's that's why I haven't been able to really talk about this injury up until now because um, the decision was made this morning, um, and so uh, I can't really do much, can't really cut or jump, so it's pretty clear that um, I won't be able to help the team unless unless I get this fixed right now and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, disappointing for me. Um, it's hard to watch the games, and uh, you know, I, I think I want to be out there, uh, obviously more than anything right now, to help the team. But uh, hopefully, uh, it's a six-week rehab process. But I tend to heal fast, so hopefully, I can come back as soon as possible and and uh, still contribute this season. Hopefully, Jeremy. Uh, did you essentially know when you went through shoot around? I guess it was last Monday that something was, it wasn't just a little soreness from playing too much. Uh, I was unsure. Um, I went through shoot around. Actually, I shot and and went went up and down. And I thought, you know, this is probably isn't isn't horrible. Um, I thought maybe a, you know a couple of days, uh, but um, and then the swelling went down significantly um, over the next two days. And so we were optimistic, thinking it would. It'd be okay. I got the MRI just in case, and then um, swelling kept going down, but it didn't feel any better. And uh, I didn't really test it again until uh, yesterday and today, um, and and uh, it didn't feel. It felt probably worse than it did a, a week ago. So, I mean, this had been obviously a pretty amazing season for you. A couple of months when you finally got the realization that your season's probably over, given that time frame. I don't know whether that's today or whether that's a few days ago that you maybe already realized it. But when, when the realization hit that this thing is probably over for now, what, what was, how did you come to grips with that, that moment? Uh, uh, it sucks uh, not being able to be out there with the team and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, and so hopefully I can come back as soon as I can and, and help everybody. Uh, Jeremy, is the surgery tomorrow? Is it going to be in New York? What's going on? Uh, it will be early next week in New York. Uh, Jeremy, did you uh, s uh, seek a second opinion anywhere after the original diagnosis? Yeah, I got, a, I got three, four opinions, um, and it was pretty much all the same thing. Yeah, I, I, I uh, sent him the MRI and everything, so. Jeremy, uh, do you think you are a quick hitter? Or, and uh, the second one, is, uh, do you have some words say to fans for their support? Uh, just, um, I know, uh, thank you for everyone, for everything, uh, really. And, uh, you know, when I come back, I'll be stronger than I ever was. And uh, I'll be a better player. Um, and uh, it's, it's just another bump in the road. and. and we know everything happens for, for a reason, and God has a perfect plan. And so that's what I'm going to keep my hope in and uh, continue to do everything I can to make sure I can come back. Jeremy, what are the concerns, given that you're about to head into free agency with, with a knee injury? Uh, you know, I'm not, even, I'm not even worried about that right now. Um, you know, it's not like a career-ending thing, or it's not something that will bother me. You know, once it's fixed, it's fixed. It's, it's the most simple surgery you can have. and so. Um, I'm more concerned about the season. Jeremy, do you know if this happened on a particular play? I know it was Saturday that, w that you had talked about it, but did it happen during that game? Did it happen yeah. previously? That's the confusing part is there's not one incident that I remember. Um, it just, it was bothering me a little bit, and then it bothered me a little more. And then, and then in the second half of the Detroit game, 
I could still play, but I was feeling discomfort, so I went in the locker room um, just to check it out. And I came back. I came back out. Uh, so, you know, I could have. Like I said, if if they come back, if they bring it within single digits, I'm, I'm uh, just put me back in. Um, but that was obviously with a lot of adrenaline going. And have you ever had surgery on either of your knees? No, I never had surgery on anything. Jeremy, I guess you've had a week to think that this is a possibility. Hey, have you thought about what these two months have been like, just kind of the whole whirlwind that this has been for you this year? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this season's been, uh, you can talk about ups and downs. It's had, you know, a lot of downs and a lot of ups. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still um, thankful to be here, thankful to be a part of the Knicks, to see this team, um, how we've grown and, and how we're going to make a push for this uh, for the playoffs and hopefully go deep in the playoffs and um, you know I, it's I think as a team we're doing okay and and we're going to be just fine and uh, um, but it's it's obviously been a very emotional year. Kind of along those lines, Jeremy, is it is it easier to do this now knowing you have proven yourself in the NBA first, or would this have been harder if you know, maybe you saw doubts in your mind or other people's minds whether you really could play at this level. I mean, if if this was done er, very early in the year, obviously that would. Um, I don't know where my career would be. I could be. I would. I would be uh, definitely without a job, and uh, probably fighting for a summer league spot. Um, but having said that, this happening now uh, hurts just as much because. Um, all the players, we really put our heart and soul into the team and into the season, and to not be there at the end when it really matters the most um, is is hard. I know free agency and all this stuff is a ways off, but when you think of what you went through this year here, is your inclination to try to be back here? Do you feel like this is where your your career is now going to uh, to take you? Oh yeah, I think you know New York, um, the way. Uh, that the city, that, that the fans, um, the writers, the media, everybody, I think uh, it's been an unbelievable journey. And, um, you know, I, I would love to keep this team together um, as long as we can, everybody, top to bottom. I think um, we're growing as a team. Um, we're finding an identity and um, we're getting better. And we have so much potential. We have so much talent. And, and uh, you know, I think it's a process in terms of reaching our potential.